I'm KB with Nerdophiles. How are you? Hi there, KB. I'm well. How are you? I am doing well. Oh my goodness. So, you know, clearly the show is about sex, but really, <laughs> really it's about a woman who's just trying to reconcile who she was with who she is now. Um, and kind of that ever evolving struggle and pursuit of having it all, family, career, good sex, all of it. So kind of what did portraying Billy teach you about balance um, and going for what you want in your own personal life? Well, one of the things that Billy really encouraged me to do is, you know, it's like as women, we have wants, we have desires, we have needs. And I feel like over time, you know, society, especially, we just start ignoring those things. And we're told it's not cool to want the same things. And, you know, we're told to kind of live and act within this little box. And the awesome thing about Billy is she's such a brave character, you know, that it's like, she seems to have it all, but it's just not enough for her. And for her to have the courage to actually be able to go out and to get what she wants, that's so inspiring for me. And I really, you know, she takes she takes a look at the, the good sides of her and the bad, her light and her dark. And she's fully accepting of both sides, you know, the sexual sides, everything. And for me, it just really encouraged me to do the same. It encouraged me to kind of think, okay, it's okay to have desires. It's okay to say, hey, I'm not happy with this or sexually, I'm not satisfied. And to go out there and to get what you want, you know, but that is the trick is that you have to have the courage to go get it. So nothing changes if nothing changes. And so she is definitely somebody who's willing to ignite that change. Yeah, I really, really like how she just kind of like, even through this triangle, which this love triangle, which most of it honestly occurs in her psyche, right? Because it's like memories from her past. That's right. A lot of it's in her past. Right, right. I do think that like, even through that journey of, you know, taking a step back and remembering who she was and remembering those memories from the past, empower her to be who she is in the present. And so I actually really, really like one of the things that I like about the show is her dynamic with Sasha, because yeah. I think that what they allow each other to do is just not only be present in who they are, but also be the powerful women that they want to be or that they are, you know, they are just very honest and transparent with each other. You know, they don't mind having those tough conversations, but they want each other to live the best and most fulfilling life. So can you talk a little bit about kind of creating that dynamic with Margaret on screen um, and maybe even just some personal female friendships that kind of you drew inspiration from? Yeah, well, you know, I will say, because we we seem to find out that they have more things in common than just each other, which happens to be Brad at one point. And the way in which they they work through that, you know, goes to show you that these two women are not the normal, typical Hollywood female friendship where you're going to bicker over a guy or there's going to be a guy that's going to come in between two girls. These women will absolutely work through anything. They are thicker than thieves. And it is beautiful that throughout all their different incarnations from their 20s to their 30s to where they are now, that these two have remained true to one another, you know, and it's a beautiful friendship. When I first met Margaret, I was already cast and she was auditioning. And she just had, she and I, she's such a beautiful person and she did the role so effortlessly. There was such an ease and a comfort that she and I easily shared, even though we had never met before. Um, so we really were kind of like, you know, these accidental sisters in a way. Um, but yeah, no, I myself, you know, it's like I'm much closer to some of my friends than I am some of my family members. And, you know, I have a few girlfriends in particular, if they called me and said, we need help burying the body, I wouldn't even ask any questions. I'd be no like, questions asked. no questions asked. And, you know, chicks before dicks. That is true. That is true. Until the day that I die, I will take their secrets to the grave and they will take mine. And, you know, nobody can say otherwise. I love that. Absolutely. Well, you know what? I really, really hope you guys get picked up for a season two because I can't wait for everyone to see season one. It is very refreshing to be able to see women um, fully realized as ourselves and multifaceted and going through things and messy and not having it all figured out because that is who we are. Okay. So I appreciate that so much. And just thank you for chatting with Nerd.